Welcome, we're gonna finish on this one. We're gonna do frameless move now. So let's learn how to move it. And also bring our title bar to show. Of course, it's gonna be custom, custom title bar. So let's start populating. This time I'm going to give it a title because then this time we're going to show the title. So there goes the title. I'm just using gear string. This is used by Qt for translation. I'm not a big fan of it. But then if you live in a country where uh, you know English is not the most popular language, like here yeah, in Italian, French, uh, Spanish, those countries. So yeah. You might be a big fan of it. So then we do the flags. And now, now we're just gonna create a custom title bar. Now I'm doing queer rectangle, not a menu bar, not a title bar, because then they are not really, really part of the uh, the things they give you. I said these guys, the menu item, the menu bar, and the Headers are drawn and the footers are drawn. Every anchor anchors to them, right? And not to the application window. So then, therefore, I will do a width, which I put to you. The, uh, should I say, the, let me change the color of this to gold. And let me preview it so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see it. I drag and drop. Now, whoa, let me. I don't know how huge my rectangle Look, instead of being 40, I decided to put, I'm putting it. Now, here we go. Now, if I put a menu bar here, whatever, but then, uh, so, let me make it a menu bar. The X and menu bar is the highest. Header goes right before it. Now I'm gonna get from my previous tutorial. You don't have to have it if you didn't watch. I'm gonna get for the top and for the right side. I'm gonna get first the right side. One on the right side. I'm gonna copy just this side. And the mouse X and I'm gonna copy in the mouse X and one is Y. Copy. Put into the frameless move. Put it over here. I'm just gonna cut the previous thing. And paste it over here. Control Z. Go where I did. They made me do it. Uh, so yeah. Now you can see that I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, uh this is I have two. What is this? I duplicated the same thing twice. Um okay, so then I didn't cut it well. Let me and delete this one now we have the I deleted one because then I ended up with two so I, I'm gonna change the ID because then it won't work the other ID new windows one requires from our previous tutorial if you didn't watch it it's okay I'm just showing something now we have our right thing working but it doesn't work for this guy even though we are snapping it doesn't work for this guy that means we have to build just for this side which is crazy you see that it doesn't work for it also the top the top two doesn't work for it but then if we take it away we take it away and this guy is on top uh let's put this guy on top just clear on top not not if you don't even have to worry about here on top because then we can still anchor it. the two of them will be frightened they will be fine now this guy is on top all right now you can see now our anchor is starting over here because we didn't use the menu and far from me, even though this guy is anchoring to the top we can also still anchor this guy to the top just maybe in case whatever you're working on it's not anchoring to the top it's anchoring to the bottom or something we can still anchor both of them to the top 
I'm gonna get a one two from our top tutorial. Top tutorial. So I can show you. Uh, look, look at what I'm doing. I'm gonna copy plus the uh, property and go paste it. Now move thing. Where will I paste it? Anywhere. I'm pasting after the mouse area. And the only thing I'm gonna cut is previous. I don't know why when I cut it and I paste it. I end up pasting. I'm gonna paste it so that we have. Okay, so now we have the previous white. And now this one is anchoring to the top on the left and right. Whereas this one's anchoring to the right and the top and the bottom. So now we have the top one. You can see that now we have two anchors to the top. The one that is for the top, this one is for the top. So I'm going to the top and to the left hand side. And now our rectangle, which is going to add as the title bar, custom title bar. So, so I'm going to the top. But then there's nothing wrong with it. There's no problem with it. But then if we had used the, uh, the title bar, the main bar, I don't know why I have to show it to you again. If we had used the main bar, uh, we, our anchor would have started after the main bar, even though we, it would have started right here. Which is bad. So then use a normal rectangle and put your menu inside of it. You can change this. Of course, it may you might want a uh, decoration for it. You don't want it that you can change it to transparent color. We're gonna continue with a moving thing. We're gonna move it. We're gonna put a mouse area. Here's where we put our everything, menu bar, title bar, whatever you want put. But then you can put a mouse area. Of course, this one will be failing because then every piece of it want it to be able to move. We want the cursor to be able to move it everywhere. And we're not changing the cursor too because then they don't change the cursor. And then on click, or I mean on press, so that last mouse is down. I'm gonna set both previous X and Y to the mouse X and Y. Yeah. And now on uh we're gonna check them one by one on mouse change we are getting the change and then we are adding to the x position the mouse change right uh so we're subtracting the mouse x minus the previous x and then we're setting main window dot set x uh it's gonna be main window dot x minus no plus we're adding the change whether positive or negative so whether it's more or less and we move the mouse change on the y first we get in the derivative of y and again shout out this uh, particular moving code and all the resizing code uh cancel me go leg from the main site i don't know i maybe might put a description over there it will like it will look cool. One of the people that got me, uh, you know, kicking Python with Kiel now. Yeah, they were, they were one of the guys that got me kicking Python with Kiel now. They were people. So then we're changing the X and the Y based on the change in uh, each of them. So now we can move it because then we are called wherever we are, we're moving it. So now we get our this and we get our that. A title bar shows over here, but it's not yet over there because then we give it a title. Of course, we have it. I'll just close my mouse area and I can put in anything. It's good with the mouse area. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. It's going to be really bad. Uh, I'm going to put it down there because most of the things coming. And I, I'm going to put in the test. And what am I going to do? Vertical center. So that I'm just showing you. Uh, that which we can do with our, with our test. I'm gonna do eight, and the test of this will be the title, the main window the title, and then the color will be white. Uh, now let's see. There it is. There our title is quite not the nicest thing you see. Of course, then I wanted to show it to you, right? We can still resize it nicely. And we, we just uh, remove it here, just as all of them do, instead of moving it at the center. If, if you. So, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.